in relation to the temporal bone, I also wanted to point out three other structures, um, mainly to do with the zygomatic process. There is one on each side. So we have the zygomatic process here and as well as over here. This is the this is a stylet process. Again, one on each side. Lastly, you have the mastoid process, which is situated right over here. This is the mastoid process. Again, mastoid process, styloid process, and then you have the zygomatic process here and here. So earlier, I also mentioned about the foramen ovale from this perspective. However, the foramen ovale can also be asked if it was held in, in this position. So the foramen ovale, if held, if looked from the inferior perspective, the foramen ovale is situated here and here. That is the foramen ovale. And then you have the external acoustic meatus. Lastly, I did want to stress that because the parts of the skull can be divided, separated during the exam, you want to know what orientation you have to hold this and see this at. This is the temporal bone. This is the squamous suture, okay? Make sure that you know that because if I take this part off, you're going to notice that we have a suture, but we don't know what bone is articulating it to if we just hold this piece separately apart from the rest of the skull. So just know that as far as, as far as the temporal bone goes, this is the parietal bone. This is the temporal bone. Between the parietal and temporal bone, you have the squamous suture. Hope this helps.